Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn the remaining foundation tools that we have in Fem Design software. We have soil, we have borehole, filling, and pile. Let's start with the soil by clicking Define and Default Settings. You will open the soil function window. In here, you have in a general tab, you have identifier, you have limit depth level, and default filling. From strata tab, you can set your materials for your soil. In here, you will see the material window. You can here you can either choose to modify the existing materials by selecting modify, or you can create new ones. And the last step we have, we have groundwater here, which I have already put in place. I'm just going to click OK from here and I'm going to draw my soil here. Now you can actually see the different ground levels in my 3D model this way. You can affect these levels by clicking here from borehole. With borehole tool, you can either choose to define new boreholes to your soil block, or you can edit the existing ones that I have here. I'm going to show an example. I can select all the boreholes, or maybe I just select two of these for this example, and I'm going to change the top level of the gravel, and we can see the changes in a 3D model. By clicking minus seven meters here, I can see that the uh, level for my uh, ground there changes. With define, I can add a new borehole there, and by clicking the question mark or with the properties function, I can edit here. And now you can see that the level of the ground have changes for that borehole. Let's go on to filling. With filling tool you can click define and from default settings you can change the material for your filling and default top level and default bottom level. And you can simply just draw. Just gonna change the view a little bit. And now you can see that I have filling with two meters of sand there. For the last function, we have pile. I'm just going to click define. And here you can see that it looks very much similar uh, with the column tool that we have here. And when we open the default settings, we can see that the pile default settings window is basically the column or the beam uh, window or is the same as the column or beam. What we have uh, different is we have soil springs and now you can see the soil springs. This is empty. However, when we model the pile into our soil block, we can see afterwards that these soil springs will be automatically included in here. So let's model one pile here. And now we can see those uh, support marks coming to our pile. And we can use the properties function to check our pile. In here, now we can see that the soil springs have been added automatically according to our soil block. Here you can see line supports from top down order. It starts with the sand and ends up with the gravel. Here you can see longitudinal and lateral springs added to our pile automatically. And you can see the spring there. Yes, here was all for this video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
and see you in the next one.